Welcome to Macaria, home of the Alan Baker Art Gallery, located in the heart of historic Camden. Firstly, for inspiration, let's look at Alan Baker's fine art. His pencil sketch drawn in 1980. He was 66 years of age. Baker began his art study in the 1930s at J.S. Watkins Art School. The first four years of his study dedicated to drawing. Okay, let's get started. Let's get drawing. Okay, increasing the pressure. And our tone becomes dark. Okay, hatching is closely spaced parallel lines. Cross hatching is layers of parallel lines in the opposite direction. Stippling is a shading technique using dots. The closer they are, the more volume. Scrumbling is scribbling in all different directions. Excellent for natural surfaces. Okay, now it's important to understand light. And if we don't have light, we, don't have, we can't see anything. So we're looking at a single source of light. It could be the sun or a, your lamp in your bedroom. Now, in this uh, picture of this sphere, we have a uh, ball sitting on a, on a platform. It also looks like the earth. But the light, when the light's projected from the sun or the lamp that you have, we, have, we can have this projected line that comes from the light source and creates a shadow and it's called a cast shadow which is here. Now this area here where the, the, balls, the light is um, Hitting the ball at first, at first is called the core light, and there's a line where the the light source is cut off. So here we have, we have this section here. It's like when we at at dusk, at sunset, when the the light tends to dim before it gets dark. So we have this section where it's called the mid-tone here. And then we have, that's the light line, which is this one. And this, and then we have the core, the core light is here. And then we have a core shadow, which I haven't written, but it's here, the core shadow. Okay, which is this darker section here, which extends, okay. Now the light hits the, the surface of the table and reflects back up this way as well. So we have this reflected light. So you have this glow, but there's also a reflected light that comes from the, hits the ball and comes back down and affects the shadow, the cast shadow. So we have this gradient uh, throughout this cast shadow here. Now the um, occlusion zone uh, shadow is right under here, under the ball, where it meets the table, where there's no light um, at all. So there it is here, the occlusion light there. Reflected light. And we have this, because the, the ball is, has a shiny surface, 
we have this highlight right here. And it's this little section here. And there we go. Understanding light. Let's do a still life drawing. Okay, we've got an orange and an apple set up as a still life. You can do this at home. Your favourite little objects in your, in your, from your room. Set it up on a table. Have a single lamp to light it. And here we go. Just notice the way I'm holding the pencil. I'm holding it over the top. And just notice how the, the two objects interact with each other the negative space, the apple being in, in the orange being in the foreground and the apple being in the, in the distant background. Let's start with the darkest, the, the occlusion shadow, which is right at the base of each. The cast shadow. We're going to use our stippling um, Scrumbling sort of technique for the to, for the surface of the orange. This is our core shadow here that's not affected by reflection. Our objects are sitting on the table, of course. Now for the apple, I'm going to use the hatching technique. Very dark, there's a, quite a shadow from the actual orange side. skills and your art style, subscribe and post your pictures on hashtag Alameda Art Gallery. Thank you.